A year ago, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky received standing ovations in the U.S. Congress in his first overseas trip since Russian troops invaded his country. Ukraine is alive and kicking. He was seen as a fierce defender of an underdog nation that had stopped Moscow's mighty army at the gates of Kiev. And Congress approved more than $110 billion in military aid. President Zelensky, how but a year you later, know? Zelensky is back in Washington, and he's running into a wall of partisan gridlock. Instead of addressing joint sessions of Congress, he met behind closed doors with lawmakers on Tuesday. Congress has approved no new assistance for Kiev since a Republican majority took power last January. Republicans have been reluctant to sign off on a funding request from Democratic President Joe Biden. Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson said after meeting with Zelensky that Biden's administration must provide more detail about how the money would be used. What the Biden administration seems to be asking for is billions of additional dollars with no appropriate oversight, no clear strategy to win, and, and none of the answers that I think the American people are owed. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking down. The White House told Congress earlier this month the government will no longer have funding to provide more weapons for Ukraine after the end of the year. Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said Ukraine needed the assistance as soon as possible. He needs the aid quickly. If we don't give the aid quickly, several things will happen. First, the military needs, but second, Europe and many other allies will say, what is going on here? They're not giving, they're not giving them the aid. Thank you. There are just three days before Congress recesses for the year on Friday, and Republicans in the House have refused to pass a spending package that contains $61.4 billion in Ukraine aid, unless it also includes funding to stop migrants from crossing the southern U.S. border. Bolstered by billions of dollars in U.S. arms, humanitarian aid and intelligence, Ukraine was able to fend off Russia's initial attempt to sweep the country. But Kyiv failed to break through Russian defensive lines in a major counteroffensive push this year, and Russia is now on the offensive in the east.